Krunal Chauhan from Scientech Technologies and today we would like to talk about something about the world of Embedded. Now Embedded system uh, is very popular nowadays and uh, it's having a huge scope in Embedded to do a lot of research and to do a lot of innovative things in Embedded system. Now if we talk about the bottom line of this Embedded, Embed, if anything we are embedding that means an Embedded system. If we talk in the semiconductor world, any chip in which you are dumping some software through programming or some language, it may be your C programming, assembly language, it may be your VHDL or anything. Any program which you are trying to embed in chip, it's an embedded chip. Okay, So it's an embedded system we can call it. If we talk about embedded, then there are three popular things which we can say. Uh, one is your FPGA which is your reprogrammable device. Another one is the controllers, microcontrollers. And the third one is the powerful DSP or DSP processor we can say, digital signal processing. So these three currently rules this embedded world. If you want a blank cam canvas where you want to paint your design, you can go with the FPGA. So it's a blank chip whatever operation you want to perform from it, you can perform uh, in the FPGA by using your VHDL programming in that. So if you if you are looking for some high speed programming, you are looking for some high speed application, parallel processing, FPGA is the best choice for that. But if you are looking for some compact and easy interface, then controllers are there uh, from your 8-bit controllers, 16-bit or 32-bit uh, processors like ARM7 is there, ARM9 is there, Cortex series are there. There are a lot of uh, series are available in the uh, your controller part. Because if you are talking about the handheld devices or any compact devices where you need a very good GUI, good interface, good connectivity, whether it's a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, whether it's RS-485, RS-232, for your industrial communication or it may be your LCD touch screen. So to have a good interaction between your device and your user to have a good HMI you need a controller part in that. But in application where you want to do a lot of mathematical things, you want to do a lot of calculation part then you, you should go with your DSP board because it's having a special Mac unit in that so it consumes very less uh, timing diagram less uh, cycles to do any whether multiplication or division if you want to do it this can be done in your FPGA or in your controller okay it can be but it will take a lot of time which will consume it so today I would like to show you one product imagine this three technology comes together your FPGA your uh, controller your uh, DSP then imagine what kind of application you can go on right Today you need all the mixed technology uh, to develop some very good application. Whether you want, you also want a high speed processing, you want a good GUI also, you want good calculation also for fast processing. So Scientech uh, brings you one very good product which is universal embedded development platform where you can use FPGA with your ARM7, uh, your controller, FPGA with your DSP board. So you can decide uh, what fast processing you want to do, what parallel processing you want to do that can be handled through FPGA. And the interfacing part from your computer, from your LCD, from your keyboard, that can be handled through your controller. And that there is a lot to be explored in this product. So I'll show you this product in a while and uh, let's explore it. Scientec 116 Universal Development Platform. Now as you can see on the top cover, uh, we have shown you controller and DSP technology and reconfigurable technology which is your maybe your FPGA or CPLD or cool uh, runner which is your CPLD once again. So you can connect a lot of application to your controller or DSP part and uh, you can connect also to the your uh, FPGA part, uh, the application which you want to configure with your application. So, if we see this product, this having a top cover over here, uh, giving you detail about the Xilinx standards, microcontroller or DSP, 
how to program, how to build a program into it. That information is given on the top uh, in a sticker in this. And if you see this product over here, this is your FPGA board. Okay. And this is your uh, right now DSP board which is connected right now. And if you want a DSP or uh, any ARM7 board, so this, this, this one is your ARM7 board over here. In FPGA also, uh, right now this is a Spartan 3 FPGA board. If you would like to go for the CPLD, then we can remove this board and we can have CPLD daughter card in this. Also, uh, these two are from Xilinx. If you want to have an Altera, then Altera board is also there. That module is also there. We can uh, connect that part also over here. In this side, DSP, this is uh, your TMS uh, 320F2812 uh, board is there right now. We can have other options also in this, but this one is the best for your uh, lot of PWM application, for your calculation part, for your um, audio interfacing, this uh, DSP part is very good. So these two technology will communicate with the help of the 8-bit bus over here. So we have set one protocol uh, from the FPGA to your DSP or from FPGA to your controller. So there are some connectors are there and we are having some modules also like VB series is there in Scientec, MC series is there. So around 20 plus boards are there in this VB and MC series. So both the series can be connected with this board. It will be a very useful for this right now. And uh, this is having one power supply unit over here. Uh, digital inputs are there in uh, your DIP form and your push button form. Eight LEDs <coughs> are given over here and one USB interface is given here. This is nothing but your USB to serial converter we can see. So if you want to program your DSP board or your ARM7 board or maybe AVR board or any controller board that you can program through your uh, this USB which will be connected to the UART of your uh, controller and through the ISP programming you can program it. If you want to program your FPGA, then there is a JTAG connector over here that you can use. And this also, if you want to have a JTAG interface, JTAG connector is given over here. So we can uh, program it through JTAG also. In ARM7 also, there is a JTAG connector. So that we can uh, do in that case also. And this. I'll show you one uh, VB and MC series combination of application that I'll connect to it. Uh, first of all, and I'll see you, uh, show you one uh, application. So right now I'm having one ADC board. Uh, along with uh, this one uh, linear potentiometer is there so that board is I'm, I'm, I'm having this board over here so uh, what I'll do I'll connect this uh, VB series board to this CN1 interface of your FPGA so right now I'm connecting this ADC to FPGA and uh, we'll give some analog signal from this uh, linear potentiometer uh, to which I'm applying this 5 volt and uh, ground signal uh, from this board and to see right now uh, how this DSP will process this uh, ADC signal will be taken by FPGA first and that ADC signal will be transferred to the, your uh, DSP part and then DSP part will process it and then it can either give it to the computer or maybe an on display or to plot something that can be done right now I will show you this on one of our MC10 module is there so it's having one LCD connector over here and uh, this I'll connect to CN3 and uh, this LCD control will go to uh, CN1. Uh, we can uh, connect any connectors. Uh, in program you have to write which port you are going to use it. So that, that way you can connect your uh, connectors uh, from that part. So now I'll, I'll just switch on this board. Once your power is on, uh, we can see uh, this is your linear potentiometer over here. If I vary this, uh, you can observe on this LED right now. Uh, if I am varying this, your LED is showing some signals on it of your ADC. If I go full, uh, it will go up to 255. Right now for just demonstration, I have used this 8-bit ADC and uh, with a small speed. But uh, this can be used uh, for high speed also. So this is just a demonstration I am showing you. Uh, we are taking some value from this potentiometer which is your analog signal, giving it to DAC 
and that DAC value has been taken by the FPGA part and this FPGA has handed over the signal to your uh, DSP board and uh, this DSP will display it either on LED or either on your LCD display uh, where you can see on this if I vary this so there will be a 0 to 255 number will uh, vary it. So we can do a number of application with it whether we want to control motor uh, on some uh, application that can be done uh, with this. If you talk about the application part of this uh, technology of this combination of this three technology it is widely used in robotics where you want to do a lot of parallel processing, lot of motors you want to run at a single instant uh, that can be done through the FPGA part, commands you can give it from the controller uh, which motor has to be activated first and which motor has to be activated next that sequence can be decided by the FPGA part next application in the TMI in testing measuring equipments where we need a very high speed you, you might be seeing that MSOs are there, DSOs are there in DSO a lot of applications are coming right now it's solving a lot of purpose it, it's combining a lot of uh, TMIs in a single uh, box itself so in that whenever some signal is coming on then there is need of high speed ADC that ADC uh, takes data uh, uh, taken from the FPGA part it do a very high speed processing on it later on it will pass on to your uh, uh, the GUI part of your LCD or your keyboard uh, that can be handled by any controller and the calculation part can be handled by your uh, DSP board uh, one uh, BTS in mobile communication you might be seeing that whatever signals are coming from your uh, mobile phone are collected on the tower itself and first of all it, those signals are given to your DSP now a lot of voice cancellation has to be done, a lot of uh, 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 the communication technique which is used. So for that, that voice quality or video quality has to be processed. So this has uh, taken care by your DSP processor. But uh, at the same part, a uh, lot of registers has, has to be handled uh, by the, your BTS. Then uh, there is need of FPJ in that, so that simultaneously it will handle those register part also when the DSP is handling the signal processing part. So that's a one, uh, another application of that. So wherever you want to have uh, such kind of combination of uh, application or you want to do some uh, project on uh, combination of these two technology which is having a wide uh, application uh, in today's world. So this product is very uh, useful for that. Uh, to combine your all technology, all your programming of your VHDL, your uh, C programming, maybe assembly programming for your controller or uh, your DSP. Another good thing about this product is that uh, by using MATLAB, uh, by using Simulink, you can program your uh, DSP board and your controller board directly uh, from your MATLAB and uh, that opens a lot of uh, uh, scope uh, to do a lot of research by using that MATLAB uh, with this uh, DSP and embedded part. So to conclude I am sure you might like this product and you must uh, want to have this product in your laboratory to do your research part uh, for your very good products. So thank you uh, and good, to you, good day.